Okay, I'm going to do a three-digit dividend and a one-digit divisor using the TSBVI method, which is an indirect method. Um, and we're going to set our dividend first on the far right-hand side. And so it's 315. And then I'm gonna set my divisor in the billions period in the units column, and that's seven. So what I'm gonna do is start by comparing the three and the seven. How many groups of seven can go into three? Oh, none. So how many groups of seven can go into 31? And that's gonna be four. So I'm gonna set four here in the units column of my millions period. And I'm gonna say 30, uh, um, four times seven is 28. So I have to subtract 28, so there's the 20. And I can't subtract eight directly, so I'm gonna subtract 10, and then I'm gonna return two. Now I have 35 in my dividend, and so I'm gonna compare seven to 35, because I already know I can't compare it to three. There are no groups of seven that can go into three, so I'm gonna see how many groups of seven can go into 35. And that's gonna be five. Seven times five is 35, so I'm gonna write five next to my four and my quotient, then I'm gonna subtract. I'm gonna subtract 30 and five. And that gives me my quotient, which is 45. So 315 divided by seven is 45. And that was an indirect method for division.